Um, I'm going to just talk about an emerging research interest from some of the academics within the Culture Theory Space Research Group and something that we've been working with our students in studio. Uh, the way we work within uh, architecture is very much using our students as, uh, through research-informed teaching to test some of the emergent ideas. You'll see some of the, the, the slides that uh, have the student work on it. And that folds out into publications, books, and conferences that we do. In addition to that, we also work with uh, well, on live projects in collaboration with cities. Currently, we're working with Warsaw. We had the deputy mayor from Warsaw over on a, a peripheral site uh, called Ursus, working with uh, Plymouth City Council and others. And this also informs our, our, our research practice. Um, I'll be talking specifically about reindustrialization um, and progressive urbanism. We, 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 we started looking at this um, not uh, because we were particularly concerned about uh, reindustrialization as a primary economic driver, and perhaps in the context of what uh, the coalition government are talking about at the moment, but much more about how we can think about alternative models of regeneration outside of the neoliberal model, focusing pr principally on land speculation, um, how, you know, housing, shopping, tourism, what other models are out there. Out of this became an emergent interest in, in the role of reindustrialization in our cities. In a sense, it's very nice going after Chris because what we would say is that is great, but it's not enough. In a sense, we really need to think about resource flows in our city in addition to fantastic urban spaces. And I know Chris is also, obviously the conference he talked about um, is picking up some of that. Um, so what are we interested in? What we've done is we've, we've We've brought into our studio a range of other academics into our research group who are interested in this, this theme of reindustrialization and what it might mean for our cities, um, some, some of which are here. Uh, Michelle Adams from Dalhousie University has been working with us with an expertise um, <coughs> in uh, industrial ecology. And what that's led to is this understanding not just about how we share, say, resource flows within different industries. This is a diagram of this tractor factory site and how different uh, shared resources could be used in, in, with, within one industry, but actually how we spread that thinking to resource flows um, across the whole city. How, how do we start to, to share um, different flows of materials and waste, and what will those implications be, not just for big industry, but across a whole city? And this is important, of course, because we need, really need to think about where our things are coming from and the types of spaces it might make in our city. And I think it was very nice hearing about the health context earlier, um, about how important it is to think about where the bits that we, we need in order to promote health are, are coming from. So obviously there's an environmental project, it's about sharing and minimising resource, um, but there's also an economic project. And I think this, uh, what we're, we're finding is that this is emerging out of our concern about alternative models of regeneration. Um, so, you know, this, this reindustrialization process, particularly uh, in, in um, post-industrial cities, uh, doesn't just need to be supporting the existing model. We can bring, uh, you know, circular economy back into, into the center of our cities. This is all, it's also a social project because this could restructure um, the, the, the nature of spaces and the way in which we, we live. Interestingly, this is called, this project is called the Ursus Health Network and was exactly about restructuring health resources uh, within Warsaw through this industrial site um, and making it more livable. So it's a very nice connection to the previous presentation. But ultimately, it's also a political project. And we have uh, Christoph Naratek, who really leads the MARC program, um, is very much interested in the political agenda of our cities and how this connects together. Um, for those looking at network governance, I know Rory was on earlier, if you want to ask an architect to do a network governance diagram, this is what they build, <laughs> <laughs> which is something quite radically different. But if we look at things perhaps differently, I think that's valuable uh, for how we work. Um, but also, you know, we believe uh, in a better future, but not only that, we're happy to have a go and see what it looks like. We are prolific in our studio in terms of making uh, models, trying to imagine what this vision might be, imagine what these urban sp spaces might be. You know, is it just 3D printing or is that, you know, just a kind of niche market? What, where does our heavy industry go? What are the nature of the spaces within the centre of our cities? What might they be? What might they look like? How might we experience them? How might we re-question re the nature of our urban centres? I think all of these are embedded in the, the, these ideas and we test them through our studio and we write about them through our research. 
What are we looking for? We want partners. We have a whole bunch of people that are currently um, coming to a conference uh, shortly. Uh, we want other people, academics, um, local government officials, uh, businesses, to work with us uh, to try and help us define this, 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 this particular challenge. It's very emergent and new. Um, and I think there's also opportunities to think about this in Plymouth. We do run live projects uh, it, with, uh, with Plymouth, but there are obviously many opportunities to take this thinking to the, to the city. Uh, incidentally, this was a, a drawing done by my students of Plymouth City Centre. We're going to get it printed out five metres by five metres uh, by the, for, for, the, for the use by the City Council and the University. Um, so if you're interested, come and talk to me. We have a conference on the 13th of June. Um, for, those, for people who'd like to attend, please just come and talk to me and I'll let you know how to register on that theme. Great, thank you.